I've had an incredible experience. In a year from now, you will barely think about the fact that you had the surgery. I don't think about it now. Good. My name is Devin Kosla. I'm a neurosurgeon here at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica. And I just performed a spine surgery with my partner, Daniel Nagasawa. We did a L2 to L5 fusion with a minimally invasive approach. And we used a navigated robot from Globus Spine, which is a new technology. It made the procedure much safer, much more accurate. It allowed for me to have live feedback as I was placing the screws they needed to correct her scoliosis. And then it also allowed me to perform the decompression of the nerves, which was her main problem. So it would allow her to walk better and allow her to be pain free in her legs. I'm Stacy Lillian. I'm 68 years old. And we are now at Shadow Hills Equestrian Center, which is a horse riding center. And I own two horses. One is a Mustang and one is a Welsh pony. I went through this surgery that nobody thought was gonna come out very good, and it was amazing. It was done by Dr. Kosla. I had a lot, a lot of pain starting back at the beginning of the year. I had gone on a Christmas vacation last year, and when I came back, I was in major pain. I wasn't sure what it was from, because I hadn't done anything special except sat in the car. We thought it was my hips originally went to the hip doctors and they gave me all kinds of pain pills and steroids and um, none of it fixed anything. And we kept masking the problem. Finally, we took some back x-rays and MRIs and we found out it was my back. And it had scoliosis and compression from the L2 through the L5 disc. So Dr. Kosla fused the disc and he used some new technology that apparently came out amazing because I'm feeling great. It's about a year ago she started having a lot of back pain and it really, um, it was really hard for her because she just was in so much pain that she wasn't enjoying riding. When she decided to have the back surgery, we were just really hopeful that she would start to, to improve and be able to enjoy her experience with the horses again. And it's just kind of was miraculous. Like within you know, the, her first ride back, uh, everybody could just tell a difference. I could see she was sitting straighter. She was more relaxed enjoying her ride again so just in a couple of months she's already back to jumping um, training going out on trail rides so it's just been really really nice to see her her be able to get back to what she loves doing it's been great for her but I think we're looking back to getting her into some competitions in the new year and that'll be that'll be really fun to see her back out in the show circuit and I chose Dr. Kosla out of all the doctors that I looked at because he promised me the best outcome he knew that I could get better, I could go back to my normal activities, I could ride, I could hike, I could do whatever I wanted. And I'm so glad that I did because I've had amazing results. My body has changed where my back is straighter, my seat is better, my hips ride better. Everything seems to have come back in place, partially because there's no pain. When you have pain, you're compensating. And you know, you're, you, if my right side was hurting, then I was leaning more on my left, you know. So when you have no pain, you can just have ease of motion. You need to stay active. I walk my dog every day from one and a half to six miles a day. And then I try and ride at least five days a week. What was the thing that brought you to see me in the first place? If you remember like what kind of pain you were having? Or... Oh, it was awful. It was awful. I was with a cane on one hand and holding the rail on another, and I was crunched over. I had no ability to do anything. I was in total pain. And how long were you suffering like that? I would say for about a month in, at that level of pain. It kind of came quickly, actually. And I, it was awful. It was just awful. Now, you have a condition called scoliosis, which did you know that as a teenager? No, I did not. So that is a pretty common thing that people have a mild curvature of their spine and they don't know it till they get older and then they get osteoporosis or degenerative disc disease. And so your condition was a type of scoliosis related problem. Um, and you happen to be the patient that we use this new technology with the robot. Um, I'm happy you did. Yeah, and it did help speed up your surgery, made the screws go more accurately. And so we 
uh, you know, I think your testimony to the fact that the newer technology does help people recover faster. How much physical therapy have you had to do? Not too much. I did first. They did in-house physical therapy where they came to me. Yes. And that was for about five weeks, five yes. six weeks, and then I um, went to outside physical therapy. And I mean, I like physical therapy, so I don't mind going there. Yeah. In fact, I think I could go all the time. Yeah. So I like that. But um, so you feel it was an important part of your yes. recovery. Okay. Yes, good, I good. do. Yeah, and I think that that's also something that I think is a really good thing to. Um, emphasize is that you know without physical therapy without you trying hard I think the surgery would not be as successful so I think you know this is the credit goes to you as well too to, because you're putting in the hard work after the surgery all I did was sit there and get better <laughs> well, that's nice you to say. and you're able to walk straight now I am and I ride my horse I jump my horse and do I you? Think, yes what, I long, do how long was it till you got on the horse I got on the horse in seven weeks seven weeks wonderful and so, what did you do on, on that day? What, what? The first day I took it real easy. Yeah. And I probably only rode for 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to, I was scared, you know. It was of course. Like, what was I going to see? How was I going to feel? How, how much pressure was it going to be? But it was fine. And then every day, I didn't ride every single day. I rode one day, took a day off. One day, took a day off. Now I ride every day. Yes. And now I just started riding two horses again. So. Okay. Well, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn yeah, a lesson. But, but, but I am riding a vest, yes. I'm using a vest now, Good. just for safety. Good. My impression of your recovery is that you are on track uh, and you are doing well because you've been putting in the effort and you're motivated to get back on your horse and you have purpose regarding that. You have family support that is really important. Right, uh, and great family. Yeah, so I think the improvement physically is on track. I think psychologically, I think it's ahead of schedule. And uh, your outlook is really what is driving your, your yeah, improvement. Yeah, we believe. All right, well, wonderful. I'm so happy that you're doing yeah. this. And thank you for taking time to tell us about your experience. I've had an incredible experience. Oh, good. I am so grateful having known you and having letting you do my surgery. You're awesome. I can't thank you enough.